Hey guys, it's Meg Monkeys. I wanted to show you how to make this uh, simple sort of rolling hills landscape in Cinema 4D. So uh, let's do that. Uh, so I'll start off by making a plane object, making it uh, bigger. I'm going to make it 4,000 by 4,000 centimeters and also upload up the segments. I'll go 150 by 150. Uh, just so that we can get some smooth hills and not just choppiness. We'll go to MoGraph, Effector, and select a random effector, which will make a child of the plane. Um, and so, there's a few things we want to do here. First thing is go to the Deformer tab and set Deformation to Polygon. Um, and then we will go to the Effector and switch random mode from random to noise. You can play with the other ones, but I found noise to be the best. And uh, we want animation speed to be zero because we don't want our hills to be moving because they don't do that. Um, we'll set our scale up so that we don't have just tiny little hills. They're more actual hills. So around 300 to 350 I found to be pretty good. And uh, in the parameter tab under position, I think you should leave scale and rotation alone, but play with it as you like. Um, and set the Y position, I will bring it up um, so that the hills are more visible. Um, and transform space, I'm going to set to effector so that we can see those. Um, actually bring down the Y a little bit. Um, about a hundred, I think, um, it's pretty good. Um, and also, you can play with the other settings. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's essentially it. It's just kind of playing with settings at this point. Um, you get something you like and since I'm doing this I'm trying to do it quick uh, let's add some materials so it's just not some random bumps um, so for the actual plane the dirt uh, turn off specular and under color make uh, some brown and brown is a little bit more red but it's also got some green in it um, that's all right, and drag it on to our plane, and uh, see how that looks. Uh, okay, well that's all right for now, I guess. Um, you go to simulation hair objects, add hair for the grass. Um, go to your hair material, um, and under color, you want to change it so that it's green. So we don't want brown grass it's going to be dead and that's no fun um, just quickly changing it to green um, I'm going to make the hair a child of the plane and under hairs make sure you're not on guides because the count that's just going to change for these guides that you see in the um, in the view but not for um, your actual render so I'm going to up the count or first what you want to do is lower the segments because it's going to take forever to uh, render if you have 12 segment hairs. Um, and I'm going to make it uh, 300,000. Is that right? Or is that 3 million? No, that's 300,000. And then another thing is um, make a new material. Um, Turn off specular and load an image. And I'm just going to load a sky um, and make a um, background and apply that. And you'll see it's only there, but that's because my active view is only there. So if I switch my um, uh, Oh, what's it called? The dimensions. 
then it will change to fit the dimensions, but I don't want to make it 720p because this is going to take about two minutes as it is. And, uh, whoops, I would suggest not turning on global illumination or ambient occlusion or anything, just leave the default settings, um, at least to sort of try out the, um, the, the hairs and the shapes and stuff, um, because it's going to take a while, as is especially with all the hairs. Um, and then after you have that and uh, you're satisfied, then I'd suggest turning those things on. Uh, so this is going to take a while. You can see it's preparing the hair. So I'm going to stop talking now, and um, I will show you the finished image once it's done rendering. I'll have it just a transition to this because it's going to take a while. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, goodbye.